one of the reasons why I got it. Another yay yay. Get to get a doom. What you mama do? What is that? Anyway. <laughs> okay, guys, wait, wait. I'm not, guys, get to get a doom. What is happening? Hi friend, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here friend, how about you hit the sub button and join the family Um, so guys, I'm gonna state the obvious I'm gonna state the obvious I got a breast reduction and it is the best decision I've ever made Like, in my adult life, there are two decisions I've made and if I had to rank them, this is like number two It's like top two um so when i was going in for my procedure i had a couple of questions and i went to youtube i was like i want to know what i'm getting myself into and hopefully this video will be that for someone else that's kind of looking for information about um getting a breast reduction so um there are a lot of reasons why i decided to get mine um the most obvious being like as I was getting older, like I was starting to get like back pain, shoulder pain. It was just a nightmare. And I don't even get me started off like on the topic of finding a bra. Like if you're petite and you have a bigger chest, it's so difficult to find sizes, guys. Like it's as if like sizes are standardized. If you are a 32 frame, you're expected to have a certain cup size. So that wasn't the case for me, unfortunately, and I struggled a lot. Um, but otherwise, yo, it was a nightmare, guys. So um, yeah, so that's like one of the reasons why I got it. Another yay! Nonsense. Hey, get to get a doom. What you mama do? What is that? Anyway. <laughs> okay, guys, wait. Wait. I'm not, guys, get out of the doom. What is happening? <laughs> anyway. Um, so that was reason number one why I decided to get a breast reduction. The second one was as I was getting older, I was struggling to find clothes and guys I wanna wear like cute tops and I couldn't do that because my boobs were always in the way and it was just yeah it wasn't fun. And also another thing was I just it, it just wasn't like working for me anymore and there was an alternative so I'm like listen this is what we're gonna do and when I went in for my consultation um, my doctor was like, how small do you want to go? I'm like, girl, as small as possible. If you can give me an A, let's go. And she's like, well, okay, well, now you're getting a little bit too ahead of yourself. And I'm like, okay, girl, let's do a B. And that's what I have right now. I am very happy with my results. I'm very, very happy. If someone asked me what my regrets are for getting um, breast reduction, um, like top five regrets getting breast reduction. The first one would be nothing. The second one absolutely nothing The third one nothing 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 like I don't regret getting it It's the best decision I've made in a while and I'm so happy with it No more back pain and like the results are almost instant. No more back pain. No more shoulder pain You can wear anything you want literally And the, your doctors are gonna be honest with you that that's the one thing I appreciate. My doctor was my well, I had two two my my doctors were very honest to me. They're like, listen, sis, these are the cons. This is what might happen. You might lose feeling in your nipples. Like in my mind, when they're explaining all of these pros and cons, I'm just like, I'm ready to go. I was ready to go. They're like, listen, you might lose feeling in your nipples. And I'm like, I don't care. I do not give a damn. Like after the surgery, I was like, yo, guys, what if my, my sensation doesn't return? But I was unbothered. So those are the things that they let you know. Like you might lose feeling. And then what other thing did they say? There were a couple, man, but in my head, who no do my yo, I can't wait. I need this procedure to be done. Oh, another reason they made uh, not reason. Yo, another con they mentioned. Um, or like one of the things that come with the procedure is that I'm gonna have scars. I do not care about any scars, but only thing, and if they don't fade completely, it is what it is. Like, 
and then what other con did they mention guys at that point i was just like i'm ready to sign i'm just nodding my head like okay those are the cons but let me sign let's go and okay but the prawns hey y'all come look at this of um getting this procedure is the results are almost instant the minute you are done with the surgery the back pain is relieved the shoulder pain is relieved but the the thing about it is ne, with recovery ne, what happened okay let's get into the process now um so what happened was the overnight um you're not allowed to eat anything past 12 a.m until the procedure and then they put you on a drip and then you go into theater and then when you come out of theater they put drains in you like on this side and on this side they put drains and then they're meant to like kind of take out the excess blood um and then uh i think not for me it's different for other people most other people get discharged almost instantly i spent the weekend in the hospital um so they my pain okay let's talk about pain um my pain was very minimal they managed my pain very very well um i had pain medication like very regularly so i very rarely experienced like pain because on the um videos that i watched on youtube before i went for my procedure um people were complaining like the pain is intense but for me the pain was very minimal um i didn't really like have much to complain about when it came to pain and the only thing that they <clears throat> they let you know after the procedure is that when you're discharged you're not allowed to carry heavy object heavy objects you're not allowed to do like hectic housework you're not even allowed to wear a seat belt most um what else are you not allowed to do there's a couple of things so basically they just give you like enough time to recover hey guys remember in the beginning i was like when they were telling me all of the pros and cons, I was just ready to sign and ready to go. And unfortunately for me, I had um, complications, but they were not like, you know, intense, intense. Um, what happened was, um, it was a week, I think, after I got discharged. Um, I went home and then the day before I went to go sort out a couple of things, um, but I didn't do anything hectic. Come on, three am I wake up. I'm like, hey man, why is my bed cold? It's summer. I wake up. I'm like, my bed is so cold. Like it was a very disturbing cold because I really sweat in the summer. So I was like, well, what's going on? Like I was genuinely confused. So I, I, I was too lazy to go switch the light on. So I took the flash like on my phone and I looked. Hey, but who? Like when I woke up, any kind of color, I literally stood up. Put the flesh on my bed and i was like i couldn't believe it i was like yay mokbe yay mokbe i couldn't believe what was going on i woke up and like there was like a circle of blood like under hey under my mm, not under my pillow but just like where the where the drains were in the like in the morning couple six i wake up i go in front of the mirror i lift my shirt up and the bandages are soaked okay i decide i'm like maybe if i know it, it's gonna go away man you know because you know almost like I, was, I, I felt some type of way i was like if i ignore it it's gonna go away and then after a while i'm like let me just let my mom know i text my mom a picture i'm like mama this is what's going on she's like go back to the <laughs> go back to the hospital I'm like wait it's it's that that serious i mean it's not new blood you know almost like when you are when you're bleeding from an incision it's usually like red pink it's bright red blood so this blood was like dark brown it looked like old blood so i'm like is it something to worry about she's like get to the hospital now and then i woke my dad up and i was like so this is the situation and then we went to the hospital and then um they checked it out and luckily it wasn't anything hectic it was just i forgot what they called it in in in, in bleeding but it was like blood that was just like lurking where the um drains were 
and it, it just needed to go out so that's the one thing that i experienced that was the only complication that i experienced um but in terms of pain guys my pain was very minimal it was managed very well they gave me really strong pain medication as well for when i was at home but even when i was at home like it was not that like you know intense um i was given paracetamol i was given tramadol you know the one that brenner boy sings about and it's plenty that tramadol that one um i was given ibuprofen as well i think also maybe because i was like super super excited um most of the things i really didn't I was like, I had pain. It is what it is. 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 Um, and they kind of tell you that you have to be on a high protein diet. So that's what I've been on for the past couple of months. Before that, I'd never had surgery before, ever. But when I was going into the theater to show, like, it's something that I've been wanting for so long. Ever since I found out what a breast reduction was, I wanted it, okay? I wanted it. There was no doubt about it. So even when I was going into the theater, for a person that has never had surgery, I was so calm. I was scared at some point. I was like, why am I so calm? But I was like, ah, man, you know, let's just do this. Get it over and done with. And overall, guys, I have no regrets. If you're thinking about having a breast reduction, um, you can go two routes. So the first one is the public hospital route and the private hospital route. So with the public hospital route, it takes a lot longer than um, the private hospital route. Because at a private hospital, you basically go with your medical aid. Maybe they approve you and you go with it. So with the public hospital route, they take a bit longer because you're going to be put on a waiting list and they're going to be kind of monitoring your bmi and things like that with the private hospital you don't have to worry about things like bmi and all those things but you do have to um motivate and write a motive your doctor has to write a motivational letter to your medical aid and kind of point out that like you have back pain and it's really kind of um having an impact on your quality of life and things like that so um there are a lot of public hospitals that offer breast reduction um you just need to do your research but i'll put up here on the screen um in my province but i know there, there's another lady whose um video i watched um there's also some in Gauteng, there's some in kzn um i think most public hospitals do offer it when you're doing it the private way um you have the liberty of choosing where you want to do it so um with the private hospital route the range of prices they vary um you just need to do your research find out to your specific doctor or the specific hospital how much they charge but i know that the standard is 60k that's a lot of money but at private at public hospitals it's free if you're unemployed and if you are employed but you won't be able to afford the procedure they can meet you halfway um you can pay a specific amount i think um from another video the lady mentioned that you can pay like 23 26k but um yeah there's a lot of alternatives you just need to be determined to do your research and find out um like based on your area yo guys summer we're gonna be city girls we're gonna be outside oh you want to know where i'm at <laughs> we outside <laughs> i can't wait for summer it's winter now but i'm excited for summer because i'm gonna be able to like even when i start to shop now i'm gonna be getting all the shirts and stuff that i could not wear before and besties listen to me if you're considering it girl and if you re like if it's something that you really really want and like go for it why not but i feel like it's a conscious decision that you have to make like if you really really want it there's no reason why you shouldn't get it so yeah guys that marks the end of our video um, i think i've answered most of the questions that i i had initially before i got mine so yeah guys i will see you in the next one bye i am fucked up of that 42 reminiscing many reasons if you fuck up